Right now, a family dealing with a major loss is running into road bumps and delays trying to lay their loved one to rest. A funeral that was supposed to happen a month ago still has not happened due to a mistake made by the Olier Crown Hill Cemetery in Wheat Ridge. A month ago. So our legal analyst Whitney Trailer joins us this morning to discuss what legal issues may arise. Whitney, thank you so much for coming in. Sure, good to be here. So we know the family paid for three plots at the cemetery and they were told that they couldn't access the plots. The yeah. cemetery said that to them. So now the cemetery Terry says uh, they have what they need for this family to get, you know, their loved one laid to rest. But you went through all of these documents. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I went through the documents. Brianna sent them to me, and then I saw the correspondence that was going back and forth. And really, I don't necessarily think the company was being, Olinger was being nefarious here, but I do think that they could have done something. Because essentially what they were saying was, hey, there was another casket in front of the door, and if we tried to get into it, that we might, it might cause significant damage. It was unclear what damage they were referring hmm. to, and so as we followed up, and Brianna sent some more follow-up, they ultimately acquiesced and said, okay, we'll do it. And really what's interesting here is, I went through the contracts and everything, and it looks like the the family had a legitimate claim they 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 paid for this service it was prepaid and now they were supposed to deliver and this is not unusual in the funeral industry of course people pay for services they buy things on the front end and they're not they're delivered at the at the back end mm -hmm. but a lot of times this is this is not unusual that there's problems there and so families are in this situation i experienced this with my mother-in-law when she uh, they had purchased some some services beforehand, and then when it came time to deliver, the the funeral home wouldn't wouldn't deliver. But it was clearly in the contract. So really, what this boils down to is a contract claim. These are these are really breach of contracts. So what should viewers know about these types yeah. uh, of issues as they arise? Well, they should one really pay attention to to the actual agreement and read the documents. And I know we we enter into agreements all the time with lots of legalese and things like that. These these aren't that complicated. Make sure you read and understand the contract when you enter it. Ask questions and make sure you, uh, you there's clarity there. You may have to sometimes hire an attorney, you know, and it's not a bad idea to get an attorney on the front end to spend a couple hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars to go through the, the document to make sure that it's sound. Now, there is, uh, if, if there's an issue there, there's, for example, the Attorney General Consumer Protection Division. You can go to them. We've now, because the funeral industry has, we've seen so many issues mm -hmm. over the past few years, we're now getting more legislation related to that. So I think consumers will have more rights going forward, but it's important to read the document and then you may have to fight a little bit because here there was a lot of back and forth and then Brianna got involved and, and they, they came around. So everybody may not have access to, to, to journalists to be able to do that, but right. that's one option. That's why I'm so glad Brianna got involved because right. I think she really helped out this family. But if someone's in a similar situation, where can they go for help? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think they they may have to go to an attorney for one. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, the Attorney General Consumer Protection is mm -hmm. good. And then there were a number of laws passed recently, some that won't go into effect until 2026, that give even more rights. So um, the, I think the tide is shifting towards the consumer being protected. All right, Wendy, we appreciate you helping us get a little better understanding of what's happening here mm -hmm. and how to help our friends at home. Thank you very much for your time.